Mr. Red here. Today is March 18th, 2020. I'm in Lacombe, Louisiana, standing on the roof, huh? But what's directly below me is some bees. And we're gonna go ahead and pull these bees out of here, and Chad's going home with these bees. These are gonna be a brand new beekeeper. Yes. <laughs> and these bees are gonna be his first bees. So we're gonna use the vacuum cleaner. We're gonna vacuum them up. They seem really nice. Uh, we're gonna vacuum them up and put them in the uh, put it in his box. By the grace of God, these bees right here they're going up with Chad to a new place in Franklin. Let's wrangle. So before we start, we have to remove the little cap on the flute on the fireplace to expose the bees. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull that board off. It looks like a little like fascia board off that so we can really see the bees up up good and close and that way I'll be able to vacuum I mean they they've got bees hanging on that fascia board right now so I'm gonna be a little careful but I want to expose the whole hive so that ac uh, access to them is really really simple all right so I'm gonna pull that board off and get y'all a picture of all those bees huh That is one mighty fine looking beehive. I don't know how far back the comb goes back this way, but we'll we'll figure that out. There's some weird looking ceiling stuff. I've never seen this before. Uh, it's all layered up. It's about three inches thick. And that was the roof in this building. But we're gonna go ahead and start backing these bees up. I mean, these guys are really calm. I mean, for being exposed like this, that's quite amazing. So I'm gonna get busy vacuuming. And get these get these girls out of here. So I, I vacuumed the bees off the face of it, but I can't really get back into it. So I'm gonna have to remove some of this ceiling stuff. I don't even know what it is, but I'm gonna start pulling some of this stuff off so I can expose some of the comb. This may actually have been the soffit on the house. I don't know. It's, since it's on the ground right now, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this stuff up and see if we can get to the comb a little bit better. So, what I'm going to do now is I know that comb is only between this rafter end and this rafter end. There's a plate that runs all along here. They, they can't get back there, so our hive is only right here. So, I'm going to get the saw and I'm going to cut this section out, and hopefully, we'll be able to lift this hive out and work on it right here. I've got it cut along here, but they've attached the comb to the sides here and the sides here and in the back as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my knife along the edge of that board, along the edge of this one and on the edge of this one. And I'm hoping I'm gonna be able just to lift this thing out of here. Let's see.
Yeah, just lift it up and uh, we'll put the whole thing in the front seat of his truck. He can take it to where he wants <laughs> yeah, to take it. Yeah, it'll save Chad all that trouble. It'll save him all that trouble. This will work out nice. Careful you don't cut a wire. Home is is removed. The the problem now is there's just like five million places where these bees can now get into. If she wasn't on the comb, at least I didn't see her. And from what I'm looking at, the bees are running this way. So my guess is she's still in this area right here. Uh, I don't know. I, I got to figure some kind of way to whether we've got to pull some stuff out or whatever. But more than likely, I'll be using the honey uh, bandit and pushing these bees out of here. It is looking good so far. Great, got some great comb, a number of swarm cells. I, I didn't see any open cells. I mean, uh, any uh, queens that had emerged. I saw plenty of open cells with larvae in them. But I don't think this hive has swarmed yet. So I think our queen is still here. We just have to find her. 
All right, let's open up some more of this space so we can get some more of these bees. Oh, yeah, I got, you got comb oh, in I there. See it, Man, I see it. That's oh, amazing. yes. Come on. Woo. Lovely. Oh, abundance. That's what it is. Now that looks good, huh, Charlie? Pulling that up? Huh? Might get lucky. There she is! There she is! She's under this piece of comb. There she goes, she's moving over here. She's on the run. Jepson, high pursuit. There she is. Woo let's see if we can get her. Now she ran back to the cone. I, I'm, I got my eyes on her now. Oh, she's hiding in the comb again. Not let the girl get away. Here she is on the outside. I see her under that coat. There she is on the outside. Let her go underneath that wood. Can't. Yeah, she is right here. I saw her from here. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Look at that, folks. Jesus blessed us with the queen, huh? Oh, man. She's a beauty for mm. sure. So we got the queen on this one, and I suspected that when I saw the bees moving over towards the left right there, that our queen was in there. I had no idea that we'd find new comb in there, but there was plenty of comb in there, and that's where she ran to. So we're gonna finish vacuuming up these bees. We, this job is just about finished, folks. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! So what happened, <laughs> when I went to put the queen on the, the spot right here, I kind of stumbled because there's a lot of trash right here and I must have opened up the cage and when I did she got out <laughs> but I saw her and I caught her again and so I put her in a, in a different type of cage and then I put her up here and the reason I put her up here is you can see now all these bees are, are right here these bees were all over the place in the cracks and all so I used the queen as as an attractor to draw the bees out because they're going to come to her I use her to draw it out and then this way I can then vacuum the bees up really good. So I got a few more minutes of vacuum right here and we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. One other thing before I start vacuuming, when I started this job originally I wanted to do the cutout right here and put the comb inside the box and then let the, box, the bees move into it because it really is less stressful than vacuuming with a, with a vacuum. But being the time of year it is, I mean, we're in a nectar flow, but it's still the beginning of it. So there is a lot of robin going on. And so that's really why I didn't do it. I didn't want to be contending with robber bees as well as the high bees. And you can see all these bees that are back here in this area, right in here, these are all robber bees. All the high bees, they're located right here where our queen is. So I'm not going to be worrying about those bees out there because nine chances out of ten those are robber bees and they're going to stay robber bees they can go to the hive that they came from so i'm going to go ahead and vacuum up these bees right now <laughs> what happened was the bees there were a lot of bees underneath it so i ran them out with the with the bee the honey bandit rob ran them out and as vacuum as they came out 
we had the queen on the ice chest way over there. Well, the ones that I missed with the vacuum cleaner, they went up in the air and they landed right here on our queen. So I'm going to vacuum the bees right now. It just about wraps it up on this one. Um, there's the, the robber bees are here in force now. It was a great idea to keep this queen right here. All the bees that I chased out went over here. I'm going to do one more vacuum here, look around, make another vacuum over there. And I think we're going to call that a wrap. So that's all I got for you this week. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Me and Mr. Charlie, we're out of here until the next one.